Hello, my sister. What? I've been looking for you for quite some time. How are you? I have good news for you, you know. Jesus really loves you. He loves you so much. He died on the cross of Calvary for your sake. And he's coming back very soon, you know. He loves you so much. You well, I don't mm -hmm. believe what you're saying. Because if there is God, mm -hmm. why is there a lot of chaos? If God is love, why are people dying every day? And moreover, for everything that you see, there's someone that created them. So the question is, who created God? I'm sorry, I don't believe in God. I don't believe God exists. I don't. I need to go. Hello, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Let us pray. Father, Lord, we thank you. We give you glory, give you honor, give you adoration. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time. Holy Spirit, over to you. Less of me, more of you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You're welcome to the series of our evangelism. Tip number four. We've been talking about um, evangelism, obviously. So I'm going to give us the tip number four. When you go to the field, you're going to meet different categories of people. And you're going to meet the atheists. They don't believe in God. So what do you do? How do you answer them? Acts chapter 17. The Bible talks about from verse uh, 17 to 2. Let's read it. It says, when they had passed through Amipolios and Ap Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica, where was the synagogue of the Jews. And Paul, as his mother now was, went into the, unto them, and three Sabbath days reasoned with them out of the scriptures. Did you notice that? Reasoned with them out of the scripture. Now, when you go to the uh, when you go to the field, you're going to meet the atheists. You're going to meet the people like the Berians. I remember uh, there was a day I went for evangelism. One lady, the first time I went for evangelism, it was a group of us that went. She shouted at me. She said, can't you see that I'm born again? And I'm looking at it that, how, am I, how was I supposed to know that you're born again? Even that attitude did not even encourage me. Can't you see I'm born again? I'm like, ah, hey, sister, what is it? She was crying with everybody. I said, ah, okay, oh. you meet people that are born again, that will encourage you. We'll tell your sister, well done. God bless you, brother. Well done. You will find people like the Berians. If you read further about the Berians in verse 11, that is Acts chapter 17, verse 10 to 11 says, And the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, who came either went into the synagogue of the Jews. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica. So you meet people that are in Thessalonians that are not noble, in that they receive the word with all readiness of mind and set the scripture daily, whether those things were so. So how do you answer someone that tells you, I don't believe in God? One answer. We might not have all the ideology or the scientific word to say in the nature, there have been a lot of atoms before this, there have been an existence before this, but we have one simple thing, the word of God. You're going to make people ask you a question that if everything was created, then who created God? Now, for you to be able to answer very well, you must not argue. You just have a message to go and tell them. And that message is simple gospel. Jesus Christ loves you. He died. He rose. And is the soon coming king. That's all. Don't argue. Oh, if there is no God, uh, why, how do I believe there is no God? This is how I answer people. People that are Muslims, people that are um, atheists, people like the Thessalonians. I'll tell them, I'll say, you know what, my sister, my brother, I'm not going to argue with you. But one thing I want you to do tonight before you go to bed, ask Jesus and say, that word that, that your daughter or that girl was telling me, if it is true, reveal yourself to me. That's all. Then, number two, should I give the next tip next week? In the name of Jesus, we shall show you. I look at that. What's the next thing? So please, when you meet them, just say that simple word to them. And remember that it is only God, the Holy Spirit, that saves, not us. Have a wonderful day. Let us pray. Father, Lord, King of Kings, Lord of Lord, thank you. Give you glory, give you honor, give you adoration. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time. Holy Spirit, please give us the grace to evangelize like never before. In Jesus' name, amen. See you for another tip by God's grace. See you soon. God bless you. Shalom. Have a wonderful day and remember to practicalize what you are hearing.